Hello friends, this is Showman from Oil and Gas Field Quality Control. Today is my favorite subject with a topic, weld joint preparations. We will be discussing weld joint preparation for butt welds, fillet welds, and their different shapes, their different dimensions with some sketches or tables. The first one will be weld joint preparation for manual metal arc welding of steel. The table will be self-explanatory but still I will go through this. You can see the type of weld joint preparation a table with the following column work pieces thickness. The first one is up to 3 mm. Then the joint preparation will be square butt and the weld layout will be butt joint weld layout you can see in the third column the distance b will be equal to the thickness if it is greater than 3 mm then it will be a single v there will be a included angle which is equal to 60 degree there will be a root face less than equal to 2 mm the root gap will be less than equal to 4 mm you can see there are three layers of welding depending on the thickness of the test piece. If it is greater than 10 mm, then if there is an access from both side of the welding, we will prefer double V welding for a better penetration and very good heat distributions. So here also the included angle will be preferred 60 degree. The root face will be less than equal to 2, 2 mm and the root gap will be 1 mm to 3 mm. If the thickness greater than 12 mm, then the joint design can be J-type for saving some material and also the time. The root face will be more or less equal to 4 mm and the root gap can be 1 mm to 3 mm. The included angle will vary from 60 degree to 90 degree because the, the joint will be not single B, it will be J type. Here are some fillet weld preparations in the table. Usually fillet welds doesn't require any special joint preparation, but the distance between the two components should be kept as short as possible. In the unfavorable case, slack can run via the gap to the weld pool and thus lead to the weld defect. The preparation of fillet weld. Fusion face rectangular. You can see the gap is less than equal to 2 mm and the angle should be between 70 degree to 100 degree. To aim for the gap should be zero. Fusion face rectangular. So it will be like a lap welding the gap less than 2 mm we should aim the gap to be zero and the angle should be 60 degree fusion face rectangular you see the corner weld also the gap will be less than 2 mm for the full penetration and the corner angle should vary between 60 degree to 120 degree let us discuss about the stick electrode handling and weld layout. The stick electrode is tilted to approximately 10 degree in the direction of the welding. The best results are achieved by positioning the stick electrode perpendicular to the workpiece. The magnetic arc blow may require the angle to be changed. When the stick electrode is being moved quickly to the minimum oscillation, we refer stringer beads. When the stick electrode is moved in an oscillating action, we refer to wave the weld beads. The following recommended working methods are intended as a first point of reference. This is valid for stick electrodes. Wave beads, you can see a T, fillet T welding at the left and right is the stringer beads. Fillet welds in flat position, which is PA as per British standards, root pass, fill run layer with stringer bead and cap run layer with stringer beads. The fillet weight horizontal which is PB, the fill run layer with stringer bead and cap run layer with stringer beads. 
Fillet wells in vertical up position, PF. You can see how the beat is going on. And the left, the left mode side, you can see the open triangular waving root fillet weld. And right middle one is the closed one. And right side is the waving pattern for the final pass. So generally, stringer bead is getting used in the root passes. And waving beads are used in the filler and final passes. Fillet weld PF position, you can see in the 3D view at the right. Here is the weld layout for butt weld where the root pass electrode handling for the butt weld root pass and fill layers and waving pattern for the final pass. Now a very annoying and disturbing uh, fact in welding is magnetic arc blow. Like every electrical conductor the arc is also surrounded by a magnetic field. If the magnetic field is prevented from expanding evenly the arc is deflected. This is called magnetic arc blow effect. Frequent reasons for arc blow are welding at the edge of the workpiece, welding next to the large workpiece or masses, welding close to a work clamp connection. You can see in the photo how the arc is being deflected because of the magnetic field. In this slide is welding at the edge of the workpiece. This instance is welding next to the large workpiece masses because of the mass arc is getting deflected towards the heavy mass and here if we are welding close to the work clamp connection then it is getting deflected away from the work clamp. So these are all examples of magnetic arc blow. How to prevent this? Keep the arc length short, change the angle of the stick electrode, attach an earth clamp on both sides or shift the earth clamp. Make numerous tack welds. Select the correct welding sequence. If possible, use AC rather than a DC current. AC is a frequently changing polarity, so magnetic arc blow is absent in AC welding. Here, uh, before we end this uh, video, uh, let us discuss the efficiency of the stick electrode. Efficiency in percentage is being decided by this simple formula. Weight of the weld metal divided by weight of the melted core rod multiplied by 100%. This efficiency can be increased over 100% by adding more iron powder into the coating. As in case of low hydrogen electrodes, there are added iron powder in the coating. So you can get more than 100% deposition in case of low hydrogen electrodes. Example 1, efficiency 105% and for 4 mm, 450 mm long electrode. Weight of the core rod is about 40 gram coating without iron powder. Weight of the well metal equals to the weight of the molten core rod. And in the example 2, you can see core rod is the same 40 gram which contains iron powder approximately 25 gram in the flux coating. Weight of the welding metal is about 60% greater than the weight of the deposited core rod. So here you get 160% of deposition from 450 millimeter. So thank you guys. This was a simple video to let you understand about the welding preparations in a very easy and simple way. Hope you gain some knowledge from this video. Please share and subscribe my video and don't forget to hit the like button.